Mijn naam is Jeff Lievens, ik ben productspecialist bij Kraakman en ik heet jullie vandaag van harte welkom op de krampenfabriek in Koesveld, Duitsland. Sinds 2000 is Kraakman importeur voor de mooie krampenproducten voor Nederland en Vlaanderen. Het krampenproductenportfolio omvat landbouwkeepers, gronddumpers, afschuifwagens en haakarmsystemen. Laten we een kijkje nemen hoe dit mooie product tot stand komt. My name is Robin Krampe. I'm uh, 32 years old. I'm uh, CEO and owner of uh, Krampe Fahrzeugbau and uh, I'm uh, the fourth generation. So the company was founded in uh, 1918. We started uh, with uh, electrifying uh, the nearby farms and uh, it grew a bit and uh, therefore uh, we had a, had a second, second part for uh, a smith and uh, did some smith workings and uh, also were a McCormick dealer for years. The problem of Krampe was always we had no work during the winter months. So my father had the idea, okay, we bought all old, uh, old trucks, all old semi trucks, um, and uh, yeah, manufactured them to, to tippers. And uh, that was how the company today was born. That was uh, 1981. It was against uh, the opinion of, of my grandfather, but uh, it was the idea of my father and he was really strong in that idea. And uh, yeah, so he, he keep with that idea. And uh, yeah, today we are uh, building trailers <laughs> around uh, 1,100 tippers in the last year. And uh, for this year, we are planning about 1,250 trailers uh, and tippers. And uh, yeah, we are located here in Coesfeld, which is around uh, 35 kilometers away from the Dutch border. Um, it's a small village here. We are in an old army area we bought around uh, 15 years ago. Our main product is also the product we started with, that's uh, the agricultural tipper. We are talking around 500 to 600 units per year, so it's more than, than half of the production. And uh, next to that, we also have earth moving tippers. Uh, we have the push-off wagons, uh, which are quite new in our portfolio. Um, we have the hook lifts, and we are also doing some special equipment um, for the customer's needs. And um, yeah, that's all located here in Coesfeld. Um, our vision is to be the best trailer manufacturer in Europe, to increase our quality, even that we are on a really high standard. We want to increase day by day. That's why we uh, invested a lot in the facility in Coesfeld. We built new facilities. Um, we invested in automation, in uh, new equipment. We invested in, uh, in four large welding robots and are currently planning in, in new additional ones. Uh, we uh, took back a lot of work with a, with a laser cutting center. Um, in the past, everything was uh, purchased. Um, we had some regional partners, but uh, it was really important for us to, to improve the quality, to have really short ways between the R&D and the production and the production planning. One of our key USPs is, of course, the air suspension. We were one of the of the first ones that uh, took the air suspension from the semi truck part into the agriculture um, trailers. Uh, it still is a huge success for us. It's a really, really important USP for us. The quality and the, the feeling on the road is nothing to compare with, with a hydraulic or a mechanic uh, spring chassis. So that's what we are really proud of and, and that's also what we are focused on. Our production starts in the uh, new facility with uh, our laser center. We have a, a fiber laser over there uh, with uh, six kilowatts and uh, a lot of automation behind. That means we have an automated uh, storage behind where we can store around about 200 tons of metal sheets. Uh, we have a size of uh, two by four meters and we can cut uh, the metal sheets from uh, two millimeters up to 25 millimeters. But most of the parts are done uh, between four and, and eight millimeters. That's the main part. 
and uh, everything else is a bit lower in numbers. Um, after we, we cut the metal sheets and the products out of the metal sheets, we have a fully automated um, um, unpacking from the, from the metal sheets. That means we have a kind of a an, of an robot working behind and putting all the, all the individual parts uh, in boxes, in bins, on pallets, whatever. After that, we have uh, the bending. We have a, a, a four meter bending press with a capacity of uh, 230 tons. Um, to bend all the metal sheets, um, of course, different tools uh, for, for yeah, the different uh, special needs and the different uh, thickness of the, of the metal sheets. Afterwards, um, we have um, a blasting machine. That means that uh, we can uh, sand blast, we will we'll blast them with a, with a kind of a steel grid. It's a, it's a mixture of a round and a an, uh, more corny uh, uh, steel grip. Um, to remo remove all the parts from the cutting edge and um, also to, uh, to grind the cutting edge a bit. After these uh, metal parts are produced, we'll move them to our storage and then we'll start with our welding process. We have um, two welding robots for the components like the tailgates, uh, like the drawbar for example and also for um, cylinder equipment. And uh, we have one large welding robot, which is located here in our facility for the, for the welding shop for our body. Um, we have uh, two uh, stations where the robot is welding. Uh, on the left station we can weld up to a 6 meter body. And in the right station we are able to, uh, to weld up to 10 meters um, of uh, yeah, total length of, of the body. And uh, on the other side of the factory we have um, eight manual um, places um, where we weld manually. That means for, for uh, special needs, special material, special thickness of the, uh, of the metal sheets um, uh, and all the products that are going in a lower number um, so that it's not productive enough to have them on the welding robot. One special thing about this welding robot for the bodies is um, that we can weld with two wires behind. So normally, you know that you can weld with one wire and we have a speed when we are welding manually around um, 35 um, centimeters per minute. Uh, with a robot, we are a bit faster with one wire. We are talking about 50 centimeters per minute. And uh, when we are welding with two wires behind, we can increase um, the, the voltage and um, also the current. And um, we are doing up to one meter 50 per minute. So that's um, around four to five times faster than a hand welder and around um, yeah, three times faster than a normal robot um, that welds with one wire. So that's really um, um, an innovation at this uh, welding robot. This was one of the first ones uh, in Europe. So after we welded the bodies and the chassis, we'll um, combine them here in the facility where we weld the bodies because it's easier to move the chassis with some uh, tires on. Afterwards, we come to the part, um, the paint shop. That means we we'll clean everything. We have a, a kind of a closed washing system to wash all the grease, the fog, etc. Um, down from the machines. Um, we'll dry them overnight. In the next uh, morning we'll prepare them for the painting. Around 80% uh, of our trailers are in red and uh, next to it it's, uh, what is common is, uh, is black, it's grey and it's green. And yeah, Also of course uh, special colors for, um, uh, uh, for construction of course like uh, caterpillar yellow or leaper yellow or uh, yeah, fend color or John Deere colors or New Holland colors, whatever the customer wants. We'll dry the painting overnight. Um, we have an, um, a special area that we uh, heat up overnight at around about uh, 32 degrees. Um, we get this uh, energy from the nearby um, biogas plant. So it's a good combination for the biogas plant to, to sell their energy, their green energy, and we can use it overnight to dry the, the paint on our uh, trailers and tippers.
On the next day, we'll start with the assembly. We have 13 um, booths where we assemble the trailers, working in two shifts over the whole company, also in the assembling, also in painting. When we finished one order, one tipper, um, we have a quality check which is in a different facility and which is completely uh, separated because we don't want our own employees from the assembly shop to control their own work. So we have a um, completely separated quality department. There are two, um, two employees working, both have uh, more than 30 years of experience each and uh, a lot of knowledge of our trailers and um, yeah, to get really a high quality product uh, out of the factory and uh, the best result for our customers. And uh, yeah, that's how we produce uh, the trailers here in Coastal. So what's also really important for us is uh, that our employees identify themselves with the product that they are building here. So um, years ago the idea was born that every, every employee, every worker has a, has a small stamp and they uh, run the stamp with their initials in, uh, into the chassis, into the body. And um, you can see them on every trailer in driving direction on the uh, right front side. Um, you can find the initials of two guys. We always have two guys working together on one body and also on one chassis. And you will always find um, two stamped with their initials um, yeah, on the chassis and uh, on, the, on the body itself. Um, so our idea behind that is that they really identify with the product they are building. They should really be proud of what they are building here and uh, yeah, it's an, also an improvement for their, for their proudness and for their feeling for the product itself. Maybe it's a kind of a, of a, of a, of a sign for the quality we are building here in our factory. Yeah. Here to Coesfeld, 15 years ago we were around uh, 35 employees, now we are more than 200. But what's really important for us is to keep this um, idea of a family behind. So they are working for a family-owned co company and uh, they all have to feel like they are part of this family. And we have a lot of employees that are working here for over uh, 20, 25, uh, some are working here for over 35 years. That's really important also for us to have the knowledge of these employees um, uh, about all the products, uh, about how the company is running, but of course also to have them to, to train new employees. Of course, I'm proud of the situation between my father and me. Uh, my father is uh, 65 years old. Uh, it's his baby. He built everything by himself and developed it to a, to a great company. And I'm really proud um, in the trust he gives me that I can continue the company in my own way, with my own ideas. Um, um, yeah, also a bit with my knowledge I got from, from studies and uh, experiences I got on other companies. Uh, free in new thinking about automation, um, digital topics uh, and so on. Um, yeah, I guess that's one of the biggest topics I'm, I'm proud of um, when I look back over the last six years. Yeah. Vond je dit een leuke video? Geef ons gerust een duimpje en vergeet je niet te abonneren op ons kanaal.